Hello everybody, this is Stream Gamer back to kick off round one for Group C of my tournament. Ooh, we're getting into it now, aren't we? So we got three beautiful matches for you to look forward to. Kickstarting us off with Ultima Dino King, our champ, taking on Balazos. And then we will have seven shots going up against Moloch Horridus. And finally, we will conclude with Random Shy Ghost taking on our naughty toddler, Iron Dan. And without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, which is Ultima Dino King taking on Balazos. Yes, I accidentally like, started the roaring and then the intro mess. But yes, in the red corner for our champ, we have a Karanosaurus. An interesting choice here. I didn't think he'd pick Karanosaurus. We'll just have to see how, he fa how it fits. It's going to be tough for it because in the blue corner for Balazos, we do have a Gojurasaurus. This Gojurasaurus will have a tight advantage over that Karanosaurus. So Balazos does have the edge in this match. However, Ultima Dino King does have a type advantage over Balazos, as his Super Tarkia will have a type advantage over the Pentaceratops. But you got to get past this bugger first, and well, as I found out in my matchup, Gojirasaurus is not to be trifled with. So it's going to be a tough, it'll be tough to tangle with. Not if you get the opening hit though. Karanosaurus is striking first, but look at that, and a Dino Illusion already. This Gojirasaurus is going to be a literal tank, and it has elemental power as well. Ultimate will probably need about 50 odd hits to kill it. Well, the Dino Illusion, getting rid of the Dino Illusion early there. Oh, oh, blackiness. Good start from Ultimate though, but as I said, one crit from the Gojirasaurus will probably take away half of Karanosaurus's health. However, a crit from the Karanosaurus, yeah, it did more damage, but look at that, Dino Illusion triggered again. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if there's an actual limit to Dino Illusion. Oh, it's a tie. Tie favour Gojirasaurus because it does have the charge type. Um, I think this uh, Karanosaurus also has Green Impulse, but it probably won't get it off. But look at this. From Ties, a Gojirasaurus is clawing its way back. Yep, there's the Dino Illusion again. And honestly, we're... I think a crit would kill Gojirasaurus, but other than that, it'd probably take two, maybe even three hits just to get, just to kill it. <laughs> another tie. Although the ties have kind of helped actually. Now that I really think about it. Oh, there's the crit. Well, despite having the type disadvantage, the Gojirasaurus just could not take advantage of it. And Ultima Dino King has a 1-0 lead over Balazos. Okay, as for Balazos' second dino, we have a Pentaceratops. The lethal type 1. Or lightning moves. And I suspect this thing will hopefully get a hit off on that Karanosaurus. But you know, despite not getting a hit, the Karanosaurus did take a beat hit. So Balazos is losing, but not losing by that much. Well, he will be losing by more if he can't get hits off. Hey, the Pentaceratops gets a hit. Balazos striking back with his first actual attack of the match, but there's the Emerald Garden being triggered. This would just be an absolute kick in the teeth if he gets Emerald Garden off. Okay, he's not. No Emerald Garden this time. And the Karanosaurus is going down. But the Pentaceratops did take a bit of a beating. All righty then, as for ultimate second dino, we have the Super Tarkia, and the Super Tarkia will have a tight advantage over that Pentaceratops, so this could be ultimate's chance to build a sizable lead. Okay, the Awaken Mode on three, and yes, got me no pad out. It's a six. Oh, it's a tie! Oh, there's the sand trap. Ty's favouring ultimate now. Wow, he got off a sand trap. I'm impressed. Our champ showing us why he is the champ and why he'll want to remain the champ. Okay, that's once. 
Oh, I think that's Kurt in for Pentaceratops. The Tarkia wasting no time in killing it. And there's the technique boost as well to increase the likelihood of Sand Trap being activated. All right then. As, as, as for what does this guy do again? Ah, but as for Balazos' third dino, we have a super creep for some... A bloody commentator, I don't even know who's playing! <laughs> Alright, this does have the type advantage over the Tarkia, so... Balazos not out of it yet. And it's a weight the mode is on three, so... Like the Tarkia. Oh, the Tarkia getting another hit! This is an impressive display from the champ so far. Alright, that's twice and once. Oh, here comes Sand Trap. No surprise there. And it's going to be awakening time for Takia next. Ultimate Dino King could win this matchup with the next round of moves. A bonus point win looks likely for Ultimate now. Oh, it's a tie! Well, it didn't matter. It killed the Karifasaurus. Look at that. A dominant display from Ultimate Dino King as he secures a bonus point win over Balazos. As for Balazos, it, it, it really didn't happen for it. They've got... I'd probably say they did get really unlucky, especially at the beginning with the... Um, with, if the Gojurasaurus had got off just one hit, I feel like that would have changed the map, the outcome. That could have changed the outcome, but, you know. Ultimate Dino King showing us all why he's the champ. Right, that's enough of that matchup. Let's move on to our second matchup, which sees seven shots going up against Monarch Horridus. Alrighty then, in the red corner for seven shots, we have, well, a Sorophagonax, of course. A staple of Team Seven shots here. Sorophagonax, quite a popular dinosaur in this tournament. All fire moves. And I expect it to pack a punch, and it does have death fire as well, because it needs to pack a bigger punch. However, we have a definite one of the wild cards in this tournament for Mola. The Cychania. What's special about this Cychania is that it has all time moves. Tie attack, tie... I think that's type one. And tie breaker. So it's definitely a tie specialist. If I'm honest, I'd probably swap out Tie Bomb for Softening Beam. Just, just be a nitpicky. I prefer, I prefer Softening Beam. Oh, oh, here comes a Fire Cannon. Sorrow Fagonax getting the first hit, and it's going to be a big one. Ooh, however, a crit coming from the Saichinia. And a tie bomb to come as well. Oh, look at that damage. But remember, that Sorofagonax does have death fire, so... You know, it can, it, 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 it can insta-win. Here comes Blazing Spin Attack, however. Not getting any ties so far. Oh, speaking of ties, there's the tie, and there's the tie bomb. Oh, there's another tie. Look at this, the tie's brick pulling it back for Cychania. And this sort of Fragon Axe is going down. And Moloch has sidestepped the possibility of getting hit by Deathfire, because the sort of Fragon Axe had no chance to get it triggered. Well played there by Moloch. Well played. Alright, as for Seven Shot's second dino, we have a Pentaceratops. Seen quite, again, another dinosaur that seems to be quite popular in this tournament. Wonder why. I, I wonder, I, 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 no, I'm, I'm dead curious. Wonder why, as to why people pick the dinosaurs they pick. I mean, obviously, like me, for example, I pick Megaraptor because it's my favourite. You know, and I suspect that you guys have your favourites too, and that's why you pick them. 
Well, the side chain, yeah, I would say, did its job and served its purpose. It stopped the Soro Fragonax getting off that death fire, and it stopped the Soro Fragonax from giving seven shots the lead. But it's not over yet. It's still anyone's game, because as for Moloch's second dino, we have a Lillian Sternus. Well, Moloch has avoided the risk of facing a Soro Fragonax with a wind dinosaur, so, you know, that's one tick for Moloch Horridor so far. As for seven shots, could be a chance missed. Ooh, Lillian Stern is getting the first hit there. Decent amount of damage. Well done. Oh, here comes a crit from the Lillian Sternus, and it's a Mayfly. And this will do some damage. Kent the Ceratops not in the best of shapes. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a Cyclone. That will increase the chances of Lillian Sternus getting the KO blow on the Pentaceratops. And it doesn't even need the Cyclone because it gets the hit anyway. Well, I was not expecting this. I thought seven shots had the upper hand going into this matchup, but he's down to his third dino, and now it's an Anata Titan going up against a Lillian Sternus. And this Anatta Titan will have a type disadvantage against our Lydian Sternus. So definite opportunity here for Moloch to get that bonus point win. But you know, it's not over yet. As we saw Ultimate Dino King do in the first matchup. Showing us how to handle a type disadvantage matchup thing. Oop, the Anatta Titan gets the first hit. But yeah, oh, not too bad actually, but this, this Anata Titan is a tack type, and its moves are a lot more balanced than the Karanosaurus, so yeah, not too bad there actually. How it, oh, it's a crit coming from the Lillian Sternus, it's another Mayfly. This, this is going to do damage. Oh, look at that, that's insane, and a Cyclone as well. Gotta say, this has been an impressive display from Moloch Horridus. Really impressive. And look at this, it's a tie, but the Cyclone's letting him attack. And I think that's curtains for another. Oh my god, it's curtains. Well, well, well. I did not see that coming. Oh, no, honestly, I didn't. I thought Seven Shots was gonna win. But look at that, Moloch Horridus turning up one hell of a performance. One of the performances of the tournament so far, and getting a bonus point win. Well, Ultimate Dino King might be looking a little bit nervous after seeing that display from Moloch Horridus. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Yes. But anyway, that's enough about that matchup. Let's move on to our final matchup of this video, which sees. The naughty toddler Iron Dan going up against Random Shy Ghost. Well, we've had some intense matches so far in this video, and let's hope this third one is just as intense. But okay, as for Random Shy Ghost in, in the red corner, we have a Spinosaurus, full tilt Spinosaurus here. Very more, very much the attacking attacking type. Will it serve Random Shy Ghost well? As for, as for Iron Dan in the blue corner, we have an Aranosaurus. This Aranosaurus is, definitely feels like a wild card in this team. And, I, and I, I can't wait to see what it can do. But it will be tough ticking down this Spinosaurus. As we saw in the previous, well, one of the previous matches, Spinosaurus is not to be trifled with. Ooh, good start from the Aranosaurus though. Getting off the opening hit, not much damage dealt though, as all of Arano's power is in the crit. Well, a crit's not going to help you, Spino, because of the Dino Stuffer. And I wonder if Super Impact will get triggered, because technically the Spino won. Oh, it does! Oh, that's an interesting trick. Super Impact getting triggered there, without the Aranosaurus sustaining damage. Oh, oh, well, it is going to sustain damage. Hydro Cutter coming here, and this is going to do a crap ton of damage to that Aranosaurus. 
Oh my god, I almost killed it! Emerald Garden did get triggered though, but wow! <laughs> Spinosaurus is a powerhouse. Well, Aranosaurus is dead. And Random Shy Ghost has a 1 0 lead. Wow, these matches have been intense so far. Well, it's not going to get easier for Iron Dan now, because the second Dino is a Kakirodontosaurus. And it does have the type disadvantage against our Spino, so good opportunity here for Random Shy Ghost to extend his lead. Bing, ding, ding, ding. Oh, look at this. A clash of African predators here. The Spinosaurus going up against the Kaka. Ooh, and it's the Kaka getting the first hit. There's the technique boost being triggered. The good thing about Kaka is that it's a, its moves are very balanced, so if it gets off Scissor's moves, it'll still do some damage. Oh, that's my friend's the attack. Another tie. Another tie. The Spinosaurus is losing health. Can the Kaka finish it off? Ooh, I think it might. Iron Dan fighting his way back in the match. Will it get off Volcano Boost? Oh, it does! There's the Volcano Boost. That's why Technique Boost is in the moveset. Getting off the Volcano Burst, which chips away at the Spino's tiny bit of health. Alright, as for Iron Dan, no, as for Random Shy Ghost's second Dino, we have a Stegosaurus. Again, the very much the attacking kind of Stegosaurus today with that moveset. So, you know, if the Stegosaurus gets off quick hits, Random Shy Ghost could re-establish his larger lead. But the Karkirodontosaurus has definitely pulled Iron Dan back in the match. Oh, that's another tie. Another tie. Quite a few ties in this match. Another tie. I'm sure Moloch would have loved this if he if he were playing in this matchup and using that side chain. Ooh, another hit from the Karka. Iron Dan has taken the lead. And there's another Volcano Burst. I believe this Karkirodontosaurus' technique now, with the technique boost, is over a thousand. So it should get off Volcano Burst on a consistent basis. And the technique boost has definitely paid off here. As the Karkirodontosaurus finishes off the steg. And now Iron Dan has the lead. This could be a crucial win for Iron Dan if he can see it through. One of the naughty toddlers. Well, not the naughtiest toddler. The best behaved naughty top. <laughs> but it will be tough to get past this beast of a Megalosaurus here from Random Shy Ghost. Oh, that's another tie. Oh wow, Megalosaurus took loads of damage. Ooh, Megalosaurus getting a hit. Random Shy Ghost finally striking back. Oh, that's another tie. Ooh, the Megalosaurus getting off the crit. The Kakirodontosaurus finally going down, but the Kakirodontosaurus has definitely put Iron Dan in the ascendancy. Okay, as for Iron Dan's third dino, we have a Super Spinosaurus. The Awaker Mode on 3. Can this Spinosaurus finish the job? Well, as I said, this will be a crucial result for Iron Dan if he can get it. It'll be a really good start. Oh, it's a secret move from the Megalosaurus! Random Shy Goats turning this match back around. With a zero G throw, and this is gonna do damage. Oh, look at that damage! Look at that one. Ooh, the Spino gets a crucial hit there on the Megalosaurus. A 
twice, and I think has guaranteed Iron Dan points this matchup. Oh, that's a tie. And in fact, that tie will guarantee that both of our combatants will get at least a losing bonus point. Oh, but... But... It's the Megalosaurus that gets the hit. Random Shy Ghost taking the match away from Iron Dan and denying him an opening round win. However, it is not all doom and gloom as Iron Dan will get a losing bonus point. And given his points deduction, you never know how crucial that could be. So yeah, what are, what are three matches? Insane! So let's have a look at the group table and then we'll end the session. I tell you what, the performance of the tournament so far has to go to Moloch Horridus. Really, really impressed by him. And Ultimate, as I said, Ultimate Dino King might be getting a bit nervous facing this guy. But yep, yeah, Ultimate Dino King, no surprise here, opening up with the bonus point win. Although, as I said, Balazos was a bit unlucky in that match up there. But you know, take nothing away from our champ, and then random Shy Ghost getting the win over Iron Dan in a tight, tight match, which could have gone either way. But yes, that losing bonus point could be crucial for Iron Dan in his quest to get out of this group, which I would consider achieve an achievement given the points deduction. But yes, it's going to be tough for them because up next for Iron Dan is our champ Ultimate Dino King. And then we will see Moloch Horridus taking on Mo Random Shy Ghost. And then a massive game, well, could be a massive game between these two, Balazos and Seven Shots. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a, leave a like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on the upcoming tournament matches. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out. <laughs>